Hi, this is your teacher Yasser Ali, and uh, today I am here with uh, the new plugin, uh, a pure JavaScript CSS based plugin that is used to add animation on scroll on your web page. So what you can do with this library is you can in fact add animations to your web page and those animations would definitely uh, get into action on scroll of your web page. So let's have a demonstration of that feature. Uh, for example, if I would, if I uh, scroll this page down, I'll be having all the sections anima uh, animating on the page, which is quite interesting effect. So I have almost added uh, this animation, all the elements of uh, my web page on all the sections. So this is actually the demonstration. So this is quite interesting fact and it is required by most of the developers, especially when they are working on the themes or on any of the professional projects. So if I scroll uh, up back, all the effects would definitely be uh, moving uh, backwards. So this is actually the animated effects which uh, work actually on uh, scroll of the web page. So before moving uh, forward, uh, if you didn't still uh, subscribe the channel, just go down and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to receive our latest videos from this channel. So let's begin this. So what uh, we need to do to add this uh, animation on scroll is uh, we have to go to this uh, URL and uh, we have to in fact just Google this AOS uh, animation. So after writing it down on the Google, you will find this page. And this is what something called as AOS animate on scroll library. So how can we add this? It's a dead simple one. All you need to do is just to go down the page. But before going uh, down the page, just scroll this page a bit and uh, start seeing the effects are uh, the divs are the components in action. So this is actually uh, another demonstration that has been provided by this library's homepage. So to add these effects, uh, and one more thing that you can note it down is that you need these data attributes uh, to be placed in uh, any of the elements of your web page to uh, to be uh, to be uh, working like that. So uh, actually, all we have to do is just to go down the page and follow the guidelines that are given on the home page. The first thing that you have to do is to download this library uh, by just clicking this download button or alternatively if you don't want to download it you can just add the CDN links just given on the on the page. So uh, just copy these two links CSS and add it into the header section of your own web page and then this JS script uh, tag which is to be added at the bottom of the page most probably just before the body tag so after that you just have to initialize this plugin to let it work on your web page properly so let's do all the steps one by one so i do have uh, uh, the source code of the project that i have just shown you but i didn't apply uh, that particular as animation in this yet so let's start by doing uh, a very simple first step and that is to copy this link from the AOS of front page and just paste it somewhere in your header tag. I have already uh, applied different plugins and uh, just let me add it over here. So this is the uh, CSS file, AOS.CSS. It is to be added in the header section. Go back, grab this JS file link and uh, paste it at the bottom of the page of your own source code file. So this is the second step just before the body, paste it and the third one is just go and initialize this AOS library right at the bottom of your page just after the addition of this AOS.js. So this is all we have already successfully set up uh, the AOS library so all we need to do it to do is uh, just go and grab the, those data attributes that are required uh, to move or to animate any particular component. So let us have the data attribute names and those are given over here or alternatively you can just click it over here to, uh, to go to the GitHub page of this particular library and you can see lots of variety of options that are supported with this AOS library. So uh, I'll not be going there, definitely I'll I have to save the time as well. So what I need to do is just to copy this data dash AOS data attribute from here. Just copy it and paste it 
uh, with that div uh, section or any of the element which you want to animate on scroll. So uh, first of all, I suppose that I want to apply this effect. Right now, I have disabled all those animations because I want to teach you right from the scratch how can I actually uh, animate all those these different elements. So uh, I'll just have to grab the parent element of this whole content and have to apply the data attribute to it to let it move or animate on scroll. So what I have to do is just find it from your page. So I think this is the one that we want to animate you. Yeah. Just paste that data dash O O A S. This is the data attribute, and it would definitely uh, add the effect of fading it up on scroll. So let's have the demonstration to check if we have set it successfully or not. Yep, that's this is working. So now, what else we need to do is just copy the same data attribute effect and paste it with the other div that we want to animate, and if we want to change it just change the effect from fade up to fade down just to have a bit different effect from the previous okay so this is working well now and uh, further on you can in fact add the similar effect or the similar data attributes to all the different elements as i have earlier mentioned so it should be flip up instead of fade up I'm just showing the different effects actually. Uh, this might not look um, appropriate at this particular stage or with these particular um, uh, particular elements, but this is just the demonstration that in which I want to show you how does it, it actually work. So I should flip it down. And then after refreshing it, I'll definitely be having the effects on all these different elements. So if I scroll the page down, what I'll be seeing is Yep, this is a very nice and cool and smooth effect too. So this is the animation on this particular element. So what else I can do is now I want to uh, make this whole section um, animate on scroll. So just go check some other animations like I have applied to one is flip up, down, flip and then fade right. So it seems uh, good to me. Yeah, this is a flip right. So I have to add this flip right to the element, which is uh, like this one. So I need to change this class from fade up to flip right. So you can have the names of those uh, data attributes are the values of those attribu uh, data attributes right from this home page and you can just copy and paste it on your own page. So this is in fact this looks good. Yeah, you can change it a little later. So what I now uh, want to do is to add the animations to the last section of this home page and uh, for that I once again have to move to the to this page and then uh, I have to add this zoom in right. So let's copy this data attribute with its value and paste it with the section to which I want to apply. So let's have this section news and then from right and then next is from left zoom in from left so this is the effect that I have to keep on repeating for all these sub elements so after applying it just go and this is what actually we have applied uh, successfully the effects of AOS animation on all the elements of our web page so this might look quite odd uh, in the beginning but I hope so that when you would use all of these effects intelligently on different parts of your web page they would look professional so this is what actually we had uh, for this particular lecture a tutorial I hope you really enjoyed it and liked it if you did just go down hit the subscribe button and don't forget to 
press the bell icon in order to receive the latest notifications from this channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.